Welcome to the official IBU press conference after the women's sprint here in Östersund. And we have the winner with us, Hanna Oberg of Sweden. Hanna, first of all, <laughs> congratulations. Tell us, how did you feel today? How did it feel to win in front of your home crowds? Yeah, thank you. Um, it was it was an amazing feel, feeling to to be able to do this race. I mean, bouncing back from yesterday's failure to uh, to do a perfect clean shooting today, and really having the the crowd uh, cheering in my back. Uh, it uh, it felt it felt really good, and it uh, it gave me a, a lot more motivation to uh, to to do a good race to to. Yeah, to be able to to please the home crowd. Do you think it also gave you some extra powers to do these final meters and cross the finish line in first? Yeah, of course. Uh, I yeah, it's it's like a little bit. It reminds me a little bit of my home world championship and my my world champion title there. It's uh, to to be able to ski the the last loop with the with the crowd cheering and um, knowing that I can make a really good result. It's it's a, a really good feeling. You mentioned your last uh, yesterday's competition and it didn't work out well. Uh, 74th place and seven mistakes. How did you recover and how did you prepare for today's competition? Because today you were excellent. Yeah, actually I was... I think I never been so happy about a uh, so bad result um, like I was yesterday. Of course I was not happy about the result, but I uh, I had a lot of positive things to to take with me. I uh, I saw that this the skiing was working really well, and uh, then I could just relax. And I know that that I can shoot and uh, I can shoot very well. And uh, when I today was able to just relax and do as do as normal on the shooting range, then then uh, then I also hit the targets. You were really excellent today and yesterday. Is it? the early great shape in the season or is it just you knowing perfectly well every curve on this um, track? <laughs> of course, I, I know this track very well and we have, have been looking very, very precise into it in every corner and, and uh, to be able to, to make it as fast as possible and put in the, the power in the uh, right places. I think it's important. It's, it's a track where you can, uh, can play a bit with them and, and uh, try to uh, to um, take the curves as, uh, in different lines and so. Uh, that is your third sprint win in your career. Uh, what do you have to improve to become so strong in this discipline? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I am able to, uh, to do these results in the sprint. I mean, it's the, um, it's the fastest competition and uh, um, it's also very important to, uh, to do well in the pursuit also. So um, now I'm looking forward to, uh, to wear the red bib in the, in the next sprint here in Östersund and hopefully be able to have a good uh, starting position for the pursuit then. Thank you. Good luck in that. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. In second place with us, we have Anais chevalier Bouchot of France. Congratulations uh, with the podium. Anais, um, similar to Hannah, you had a few mistakes yesterday as well. Uh, but um, today's competition was quite excellent. So what has changed? How did you prepare for today? I was <coughs> I was really disappointed after my race yesterday, of course, and um, really mad uh, against me. And uh, it's like always, I, I I often need a bad race to do a better race the day after. And uh, I, yeah, that's that's my <laughs> unfortunately that's my way to to win and. Um, yeah, it's so so I was really angry and uh, I I just did the the thing like I wanted to be and uh, like, like I wanted to done so so everything worked out well for yeah. you today the way you wanted today to be. it was okay let's talk a little bit about the competition uh, what was your plan going into the last loop knowing that the most of um, strong contenders are still behind you because you had early beat number eight so did you push everything you wanted to give and you knew it's going to be enough for the podium or how did you see your race no honestly i didn't know i tried to do my best but uh, i was um, i i start very very fast and so the last loop was a bit difficult for me and uh, 
And uh, I, I knew that Justine is skiing very well uh, in this moment, so I have some information for so, uh, about her. And uh, when I crossed the line and I, uh, I lost uh, six seconds on her on the last loop, uh, so I did not know honestly if it was enough to win, but uh, Hannah was very fast and she was fast yesterday. Did so, yeah, so this, this is not a surprise for me to be behind Did you then her. later follow the results of other girls? Did you show, did you watch how they were finishing? Yeah, I was watching, but honestly, I, I did the, the zero mistake and uh, a pretty good race on ski, so I had nothing to to be better, so I am just waiting and uh, wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be better today. Yesterday was a little bit, a uh, few mistakes, but how would you rate overall your season opening and your competitions? Are you satisfied with the form you have right now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think my shape is uh, getting better and better. So um, uh, yesterday was not so good day on skis, but it was not catastrophic and uh, and it was the not the not a sensation of uh, be tired or like that. I I think I miss it. I missed some race, so I'm confident for the next week. So it is only the start. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You. Bye. Hello. Third place with us, we have Marta olsby Roysland of Norway. Marta, congratulations. Um, great performance today, especially on the skiing. How did you see your race? How satisfied are you with what you showed today? Uh, I'm really satisfied today. Um, yesterday, it, my result was good. I got a 10th place, but, but my skiing time was not so good. And I was a bit disappointed over the prone shooting. So. So um, I was quite, uh, uh, I want to do a great race today and the ski time was so much better and I felt stronger in the track and, and the prune shooting was also much better than yesterday. So I'm so happy and uh, it's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> we are all so happy to have you back. Um, you said in the interview before the season that last year you were, you in too many races you had like carousel a little bit on the podium, not on the podium. Um, and sometimes it wasn't, you were good, but it wasn't good enough for being on the podium. So what do you want to do different this season to be more consistently in the top three? Uh, um, good question. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, last year it was a strange year. You know, we had a, I had a great year the, the year before in, uh, yeah. World Championship in Nantes, and the last year, I, I think maybe I was thinking a lot and uh, wanted to be uh, as good as possible in every race, and maybe I forgot to enjoy it. So this year, I want to to enjoy every race and I'm able to race in and just have fun. I think. So do you think that is the main learnings and lesson from the last season, just to enjoy the competitions, right? I think so. And I have to say, I just love to have the podium back, uh, no, the, the audience back. And uh, it's, yeah, it was so sad last year that there was no one to cheering on us. And I think it's so much fun to race now with the audience. And yeah. Um, it's a big lesson that uh, I have to enjoy it. I, I do this because I think it's fun, and then I have had to have some fun also. <laughs> you mentioned last season and the previous season. Last season you uh, finished second in the overall, but you missed individual uh, medals at the highlight in Pokluka. Uh, the year before you left Antholz with seven medals. Uh, what is your approach for this season? What will be your main goal? Will you try to, uh, do you want to uh, take any breaks or do you want to try to uh, compete in every competition and the focus for sure with the Olympic Games? Um, of course, uh, it's the Olympic that is my big goal this year. So I think I have to see how the season is going and I will take a decision um, uh, for every race and just be as good as possible. Uh, 
and um, if I need a break, I need a break. So we will see. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so Good much. Luck. <laughs>